Welcome to this short screencast showing how to do cited reference searching within the Scopus database. This is useful if you have a good article and you want to find out who cited it. So for example, I'm going to search for the article called Closing the Marketing Capabilities Gap and it's by day. So I'm going to add a second search field by clicking here. Now I'm just going to put the author's surname in, day. So I'm going to make sure that I've got article title selected here and author selected here and then click on search. So the database has found the journal I'm looking for. It's written by day and you can see here it's from the Journal of Marketing. This is the information I'm interested over here, 69, cited by 69 different authors. So we click on that and here I have a list of every article that has cited the one that I'm interested in. So this is a useful way of finding relevant related research. Within the database itself you can click on the title to get to more information about that particular article. If I just go back to my list at this point, to get to the full text of any of these, you click on the links button to link through to it. If you wish to analyze the results in a little more detail, it might be useful to select this option here, analyze search results. If I click on that, it will open up a graph giving me information about the citation. So I'll just scroll the screen down a little bit more so you can see that. For example, if we click on author, we've got a list of the authors that have cited my article by day. We can also see the source of the citing article, that's which journal it's from, and even which country or territory is represented. So mostly the United States by the look of it here, and also which subject area as well, which might be interesting. So largely business management and accounting taking the largest proportion of that pie chart. Okay, that ends this very short tutorial explaining how to do a cited reference search. Thanks for watching. Welcome to this second tutorial. I'm going to look at doing author searching within Scopus. So the first thing I'm going to do is select author search from the options shown on the screen. And then I'm going to search for the author GS Day that we looked for in the first tutorial. So I'm using the initials G and S but leaving a gap between the two and then clicking on search. So I've got 20 results altogether and 5 are shown here. In order to work out whether you found the correct author from the list, it's a good idea to look through the options. So in the centre of the screen here you have the subject that the author writes within as well as the institution to which they are affiliated. So in fact the, the one I'm interested in is listed first, it's George Day of the University of Pennsylvania and I can tell that because it's in the business and management field. If I then click through to his surname I then get through to this useful author summary page. So on this page we can see the number of documents that George Day has in the Scopus database, the total number of citations we can see the number of co-authors that he's had and on the right hand side if I scroll down you can see we've got author history so his publication range and also the total number of references that he's used in his articles. If we scroll a little further down the page here are all 34 documents and we can click through to the titles of any of these for the abstract and then link through to the full text uh, where it is available. There's also something on the page here called the H index. 
This is a way of quantifying an author's research output and this is explained in more detail in the worksheet on our Moodle course page. Okay, in order to do another search at this point you can go back to the search, we can go back to the results first of all in order to look at anyone else on this page or go back to search and to start another author search from this point or to do a document search. Uh, that's the end of this short tutorial. Thank you for watching.